Welcome to From Beneath the Hollywood Sign. If you love old movies, Hollywood history, or the golden age of filmmaking, you've come to the right place. This is the podcast that talks about amazing stories of Tinseltown from another era. Hear fascinating conversations with writer-producer Steve Kubine, who quite literally lives just beneath the Hollywood sign, and actress-writer Nan McNamara. Now your hosts, Steve and Nan. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. This is another preview of our podcast from beneath the Hollywood sign. And, you know, Nan, we've got a couple of great episodes coming up over the next two weeks. And the first story is um, one that really taps into an an old Hollywood trope. Mm. And what you think about when I say tragic blonde to you? Tragic blonde, you mean aside from me? (laughs) 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 <laughs> um, no, when I think of tragic blonde, I definitely go right to Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we, we do when we hear tragic blonde, and, and it's a term that's been thrown around for years, going back to Thelma Todd and Marilyn Monroe and Jane Mansfield, and to some degree, Carol Landis, who yeah. we covered in an earlier podcast. But uh, the episode that we have dropping this week is about a probably lesser known actress who was also could be called a tragic blonde. And that yeah. is the incredibly beautiful, incredibly talented Helen Walker, which I know the name will not ring many bells today. Um, a lot of people will really have to search their memory to even remember her. But right. Helen Walker had one of the, I, I think, greatest beginnings in film of any actress around. I mean, she came from the Broadway stage and um, in her very first film at Paramount, because of circumstances behind the scenes with an actress who fell out at the last minute, Paramount decided for her film debut to give her the lead opposite Alan Ladd in a great movie called Lucky Jordan. That doesn't happen. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. And and it was very well deserved as we will see in her film career the films that she did make though few extraordinary she she really is and after lucky jordan i mean she won over audiences because it was a big hit she won over the critics the critics were were wild for her and like who is this young lady where did she come from i mean she was off to a incredible beginning but um, unfortunately because of circumstances that were beyond her control and some that were just life choices that that were within her control, um, her promise went unfulfilled. And we're going to get into all the nitty gritty, tragic, sad details um, of this woman. And it's really a shame because she truly was one of the most talented women I think we had in the 40s. And what we were robbed of is, is a shame. And here's just a sliver. Let me throw up, Steve, a couple of photographs from uh, two of the films that she hopefully will be remembered for. Here's the first one. Ah, yeah. And, you know, this is from a movie called Impact, which was probably the first film I ever saw with Helen Walker in it. And I I got so intrigued by her because um, she was this very cool, icy blonde who ended up being the film fatale to um, Brian uh, Brian Dunlavey, and um, you know, sort of made life miserable for him as his um, wife. And she ended up being a killer, and, and it, it, she was just fantastic. And she had this incredible deep voice and this really assured presence that that really grabbed your attention. Right. Um, and and but uh, what I found out many many years later from researching her, this was her attempting to change her image to become the more femme fatale bad girl because ultimately she'd played you know the girls next door and the wives and things like that up to that point. Right. Well, this is these next three photos are from uh-huh. Nightmare Alley. Yes, Nightmare Alley, which you know I think a lot of people will re- will remember uh, the remake they did a couple of years ago that Guillermo del Toro did so beautifully uh, with Bradley Cooper and, and Rooney Mara, and um, actually the part that Helen Walker played in the original was uh, played by Kate Blanchett in the the new version. But as great as Kate is, and she is, she's fantastic. Yes. She couldn't touch Helen Walker, I think, in the original. 
Yeah, it's it's really worth seeing. Riding that thin line between good and evil that she does so beautifully in Nightmare Alley is just a testament to her skills. And we're going to get into you know her life, her beginnings, her incredible beginning at Paramount, and just you know the the unfortunate things that happened to her along the way that that really um, you know diminished her light much too early. Well said. Yeah, that's that's true. The other person that we're going to be talking about two weeks from now <laughs> is a gentleman that um, wow. We we talk about this on the podcast, how there's really no one to compare him to in contemporary <laughs> times. So and, true. And that is Greg Boutzer, attorney to the stars. People have probably never even heard of Greg Boutzer, but he was so connected in Hollywood um, because of his legal uh, finesse. But also he was quite the Romeo in Hollywood, too. He dated everybody. I mean, you know, right. This picture right here is Lana Turner, who was one of his first and most serious girlfriends. He he dated Joan Crawford, which I, I think we might have a picture of, of those guys together. Uh, but he was a combination, this incredible legal eagle who did billion dollar dealings with Howard Hughes and, and you know the likes of that and was involved in the sale of MGM in the 60s. And then he was this on the other side, this nightclub loving Lothario who just dated everybody. It's a fascinating story of a really fascinating man. Yeah, he is the definition of charisma. Um, here's another picture with Dana Winter. Yes, which uh, you know, Dana Winter, he was one of the few Hollywood beauties and actually got Greg Boutzer to the altar. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that too on the episode. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to talk about both of those people because as we've said in this podcast, it's our one of our goals or missions is to talk about people that you might not have heard of that played a prominent role or that we wish would have played a more prominent role, but due to tragic circumstances, their lives were short shortened. Yes, absolutely. We 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 have a soft spot for uh, the, the people that had a great beginning and, and and just didn't get to play in the game as long as they should have. And, and we right. love bringing new faces, new actors, new directors, new movies to you guys. So that's one of our, our missions. So these are the two subjects for the next two weeks. Our podcast drops on Sunday nights and it drops wherever you listen to your podcasts. Yes. And, you know, we'd love to hear from you. Have any questions and comments? Check us out. Info at permanenthollywoodsign.com. <laughs> <laughs>